Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Shokugeki no Soma, aka Food Wars, Chapter 106. Okay. And this chapter has a couple different parts to it. Uh, well, three, I guess. Um, the first is that Mitamura, the owner of the of the restaurant, kind of, um, more of like a, it's kind of, it's like, it's, it's a, I'll call it a restaurant. Like, usually when you think of a restaurant, think of like higher-end places, but... I mean, I'll, it's still like a, it's, it's a place. <laughs> He's the owner of the place. All right. Um, this guy, Mitamura, is a giant fanboy for Totsuki students. Okay. And him, along with everyone else, sat the place that they think really highly of, both Soma and Hisaka. All right. And because of this, it props them up to a point where you're pretty sure that they're going to have a big impact because they're, like, putting them on this pedestal where it's, like, they're just going to be so much better than the rest of these dudes, <laughs> you know? And that in itself is kind of an issue. Like, not a bad issue, but a good issue that they're going to, that Soma and Hisako are going to have to deal with in the future because, yeah, you're making an impact right away. Alright, but the point of this week is to improve. So if they're already making a difference, then that means they're going to need to force themselves to make an even bigger difference. Alright, so they they might become content. Alright, because that, that's, that was like the thing that uh, that was brought up a few chapters ago. Alright, they might get content with and think you know, they're doing pretty well since they're already making a difference. But in reality, they haven't grown at all yet. So they're going to have to force themselves to grow in a situation where they're not, they they are being challenged, but it was not a big enough challenge where it took them the entire week to overcome it. It took a few hours. Soma didn't need any time to overcome it at all. It was just Hisako. And a few hours later, she, she you know, got over that hump, all right? She got over that hill and she had already accomplished it. So, I mean, they're going to need to force themselves to grow, all right, and that's going to be tough since they're not in a position where they're being forced to grow, all right, so that's something to look out for, all right, that's, that's like the one part of the chapter, all right, the second part of the chapter is um, pretty much the relationship between Soma and Hisako, okay, we see it during different parts of this chapter, them interacting with each other, and, you know, obviously Hisako is not the biggest fan of Soma, all right, uh, but of course, because she's been with with Arina this whole time, all right. But uh, at the same time, she knows that Soma is accustomed to this type of environment, and because of the fact that she's not accustomed to it, Soma just assumes that she's going to need advice and kind of need to be instructed through it, and she, you know, took offense to that, you know, and you know, it's 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 nothing personal on Soma's part. You know, he's just doing, he's just making the natural assumption in that since she's not used to this, since she hasn't legitimately experienced it, she's only had classes on it, you know, uh, she hasn't legitimately experienced this, so it's only natural to assume she might be overwhelmed at first, all right, however, she was pretty much insulted by this, all right, by Soma assuming that he was better than her and that he would need to coach her through this, all right, um, but we see things happen, we see how the day goes, and at the end of the day, he ends up being right. All right, Soma was able to handle all of the rushes just fine, really. Um, and Hisako was kind of like thinking of it as a battlefield because she truly was caught off guard by this. All right, and she didn't really know what to do, so Soma had to go to had to go to her and say, like, ask her because he was busy doing other things and ask her, like, can you do this? This is something that needs to happen. Can you do this? All right, and you know. Uh, and he it, it was essentially him ordering her around, which is what she didn't want. But she kind of just had to suck it up because she realized there that he was actually right. And she truly was overwhelmed. And her classes weren't enough to actually prepare her for this type of environment. Okay. And one thing we've seen throughout the series is that Arato Hisako, she's... She's very hard on herself. Okay, whether it be uh, her leaving Arian aside because of that one loss to Hayama, or 
assuming that this day for her is essentially a failure on on her part. You know, it, that's not true. You know, it took Soma and the rest of the staff to convince her that she actually did do a good job. They had to tell her, you know, yeah, you might have had some trouble in the beginning, but you actually got accustomed to it pretty quickly, and you were you ended up being a, a real help to us. Thank you. You know, Soma gave her a little pat on the back or <laughs> gave her a little five star slap in the back. All right. And um, we, we even, she even, she even, uh, during this, because when they were first complimenting the Totsuki students, both of them, she thought that they were just referring to Soma. So she actually ended up kind of accepting Soma's skill. All right, a little bit there. All right, so we've, we've actually gotten quite a bit of character development for Hisako in this chapter. And because of that, I'd say it was pretty good. So I'll, I'll give the chapter an 8 out of 10. I mean, it was, it Give me good character development, and that'll make the chapter good. Unless you have other things in the chapter that are negative, and then that pulls pulls the grade down. But you know that this chapter didn't have that. All right, so it was a good chapter. We got good character development for Isako, and I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, um, it's I <laughs> I don't want to say that Isako is doing the harem, but I'm pretty sure she will. Um, she, well, maybe not, uh, pretty much, she, she, she's pretty much joining the harem. She's not going to be like Nakumi, but she's going to be closer to, like, Arena, where she's soon today. Alright, but, like, she, she, like, when it comes to Ikumi, she's, like, embarrassed by the fact that she likes him, but when it comes to Arena and most likely Hisako, they're going to hate the fact that he, that they like him, and they're going to try and convince themselves that they don't, because they truly do not want to like that kid. <laughs> so I think it's going to be something like that, where it's like they kind of like him, but they really don't like him. So, like, it's some, something like that, where they're technically in the harem, but, like, not really. Okay, it's like something like that, all right, but, um... Yeah, at least I hope it's like that. I don't need her to be someone who like legitimately ends up caring about Soma because that would, unless unless they're going to use her to try and get Arina to not hate him, not love him either, but just not hate him. That then I'll be satisfied. But and I'm I'm, I'm just like rambling at this point. That's that's it for this review, you guys. <laughs> the chapter gets an eight out of ten. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.